God, if I had a miscarriage, it would hurt. It would, it would be painful. But I trust your word. And I trust your plan. And I trust your will. And I know that regardless, you are good. Hey y'all, doing another check-in. It's March 20 something, feeding Micah. He just woke up from a nap. Hi baby. I don't know what it's been though. Um, ever since I found out that we had another coming along, I've just been kind of clingy to him. Um, not in a way of like, you know, not being clingy to Sarai or anything, but like, even with her too, like I've just had this burst of energy to, and, and desire truly to just like spend time with my babies. It's felt really good. Um, I was actually very nervous in the beginning. Oh baby, all done? You all done? I was very nervous in the beginning about just like, oh my gosh, like how am I going to handle three uh, little ones at home? Um, because our oldest lives with her mom in New York. So really having three little ones. Hi, baby. Hi. Um, in the house instead of two. And I feel like I just got used to two. And now, you know, we're about to add another. And so... Um, at first I was nervous and now I'm just like very excited and genuinely excited. Um, I'm excited to be more wise this go around. I'm excited to be more healed this time around. So I'm actually being able to like slow down a bit and actually, um, take notice of like what I'm experiencing and just like being present. So that's been my theme lately is being just more present with my babies and um I didn't feel that last time uh, when I was pregnant with Micah like I didn't feel more drawn to Sarai or in any like different way um but this time it's just different and also I'm a different mom you know this is my third go around. So I'm just grateful for the peace that God has given to me in my heart. Um, the revelations he's given me as a mother. <laughs> my God. <laughs> and it's just been, um, while yes, tiring and super exhausted most of the time, um, it's been incredible and I'm just very grateful uh for this time in my life to be experiencing pregnancy this new way even I, I don't even know if I'm six weeks yet honestly we're still waiting to figure out um what midwife we're gonna go with and everything um but I have found a woman that I was recommended um by another friend uh she's a black midwife in Dallas so I'm just waiting to hear back from her and kind of figure out what our plan is going to be this time. And, um, yeah, so I will keep all posted. Um, I'm not really stressing, like, even still about, like, trying to get into somewhere to get looked at or anything. Like, pretty knowledgeable of my body this time. So, I think the last two times I was stressed trying to, like, hurry up and hear a heartbeat and everything just to make sure. Um, but this time, I trust my body and I am very content in whatever God's plan is like I was thinking the other day you know what would I do or how would I feel if I lost a baby and you know no one ever wants to think about that nor like speak it into existence or anything like that 
And that's what, not what I'm doing. But I am being honest with myself when I talk to God about, you know, just being prepared and like not even prepared, but just having an understanding of like, where am I mentally with that kind of thing? And, you know, when I was talking to God about it, I was honest and I was like, God, if I had a miscarriage, it would hurt. It would, it would be painful. But I trust your word and I trust your plan and I trust your will. And I know that regardless, you are good. So that gave me peace because I think I'm not the only one who, you know, is worried about miscarrying in the first 12 weeks. It happens and it can feel gut-wrenching. Any sort of miscarriage at any point can feel, I mean, I can't even explain it because I haven't had that experience firsthand. But I can only imagine the heartbreak. And so I just wanted to take a moment and just um, pray with y'all real quick for peace and for just the first 12 weeks. Okay. God. You have built my body to bring forth life. You have made me capable of carrying your children so that they may have the opportunity to experience life. And God, while I know that the gift of life is precious, Spending eternity with you is the ultimate prize. Whether life is short or whether life is long. Lord, I am so grateful that any life that does not have a long span on this earth in me or outside of me will spend eternity with you. Lord, I, I, I'm asking you to spread your spirit of encouragement to mothers who may feel anxiety or, or any sort of stress in their first 12 weeks, God. Our bodies are doing so much work underneath the surface in these first 12 weeks. And Lord, our bodies are doing so much work that like our minds can't even catch up <laughs> to all of the building and the growing and the formations that are happening. So Lord, not only do I, I ask you to give us a, a spirit of peace and a spirit of joy in these first 12 weeks. I'm also asking you to give us a spirit of patience. Patience in not worrying about tomorrow. Patience in not getting frustrated with ourselves because we're tired. Patience with our spouses or our partners who may not understand exactly what's going on yet in this early part of pregnancy. Lord, give us patience with our other children that may be small or, or big who will also have to adapt to a new addition to the family. So Lord, I thank you for your spirit of gentleness, your spirit of kindness that fills us in order to not only support the growing life inside of us, but the lives around us. Because a mother's love extends far beyond our biological children. A mother's love is one that we all need until the day we pass over. 
and we enter your kingdom in heaven. So we thank you, God, that every single mother who hears this, who is praying at this time, feels your power and your spirit of life in them so that we can continue to pour out your love, your grace, your mercy to ourselves, to the life in us, in our wombs, to the lives around us so that we can continue to showcase Jesus so we can continue to showcase you in the way we live. It's in your son's name that we say thank you. We love you. And amen. All right, y'all. Until the next check-in. See ya.